Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to talk about this super simple, awesome proof for the Pythagorean Theorem. Now, you might know this Pythagorean Theorem. Everyone knows it. Basically, a squared plus b squared equals, you got it, c squared. But how can we prove that this is true? Well, there's many proofs out there, but here's one of them. Very simple. And uh, basically, everyone can understand it. So let's go dive into that right here. Let's start with a simple shape, a square. Um, now, don't judge my square, but we have right angles in the corner. And let's call the square A, B, C, and D. Now this marker is kind of dying, so let's change colors here. We have square A, B, C, D. And one thing we know about this square, okay, again, all sides are congruent. What we want to do is I'm going to draw another square inside of this square, okay? And what I'm going to do is create something like this. This square is going to be a smaller square, okay? And it's going to be slightly tilted. Now, again, I'm just drawing this, so bear with me, freehand. It's not perfect, but, you know, trust what I say, that this is a square. A little diagonal, but let's put the 90 degree marks right there, and that should tell you that this bad boy here is a square, okay? Let's label this one, uh, what do I want to label it? E, F, G, H. So points E, F, G, and H. And this marker looks like it's not doing too well, but let's go change it up. Let's just keep this, this train rolling here. I now want to add some labels. Let's call some side lengths. We know that this, this side length uh, right here is the same as this side length, call it both A, okay? And there's like a little triangle going on, but since this is, this is a square, E, F, G, H on the inside, these smaller legs are the same length split up here, A and A, and let's we'll call this one B, 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 and B, the side lengths there, okay? Because since this is a square, A plus B is that whatever, that total length of A, big A to big D, we're going to break it up into two segments, A, uh, length A, and length B, and make that uh, congruent all the way around. We also want to label a new side. Well, if you look, we see how we have a right triangle here, right? Here, here, hypotenuse C. Same thing. If A and B are congruent, all the C's will be congruent, and we're almost there. One thing we know is that the area of each one of these little triangles right here is one half base times height. Well, if the base, let's say, is A and the height is B or vice versa, it's just one half A, B for each one of these. And this is going to be important to note. So let's write down the areas that we know. We have the area of square A, B, C, D, and that is equal to, well, the length of A plus B, one of the sides, and that's going to be square. The four triangles, all right, we can add all they, them up, add all of them up, area of four triangles is 4 times the area of one of the triangles, which is 1 half A times B, which we can easily see this is just 2AB. All right, now the area of our square, the little square, let's get you A-R-E, E, F, G, H, well, each side length is just C, so the area is just length times width, C squared, okay? Well, 
one thing we note here, remember A, B, C, D, the big square, that area, so the area of A, B, C, D is equal to the sums of the little square and the triangles together. We know that's equal. So that's the area of E, F, G, H plus the area of the triangles. This is called triangles. Well, the area, the big area, we define that as A plus B squared. The area of E, F, G, H, okay, is just C squared. And all the little triangles here is just 2AB. And from here, let's see what we can simplify. We know A plus B squared is just A plus B times A plus B. Okay? And C squared is C squared. You got it. 2AB. And now let's go simplify. Use FOIL. That's how I like to return, uh, call it. A squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to c squared plus 2ab. And we're almost there. Can you see where we're going here? Two ab's cancel on both sides, and here we have our theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to good old c squared. And now we have our Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And this is such a simple proof here. Um, now it's not <laughs> the writings of a proof, but it's simple enough that basically anyone can really understand and recreate this. So if you're just a student in high school and you're just starting out learning these things, here's a great proof to show how the Pythagorean theorem uh, really came to be. So thanks for watching and uh, please Subscribe down below and hit the like button. That helps us make more videos like this. And thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.